All right, so once again, we have uh, this messed up looking equation for a circle um, that we need to do a little bit of rearranging and completing the square so that it is in what's called standard form, okay? Standard form is that x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. <clears throat> then we want to find the center, radius, circumference, and area of this particular circle. So quite a bit going on in this particular problem. First thing I want to do is I want to rearrange everything. So I'm going to make uh, my x is green, so I have x squared minus 10x, and then we'll leave ourselves a little space here. And then I'll go with black for y's, so plus y squared plus 4y, leave ourselves a little space. And then lastly, we're going to pop that 20 over to the other side, so I would add 20, so it becomes positive 20 on the right side. Now, I want to go with... Uh, completing the square, right? So I'm going to take the b value, the coefficient in front of the x as we call it, um, negative 10 over 2 and square it. Well, that's going to be negative 5 squared is 25. And i got to add 25 over here as well to keep things balanced, right? we got to balance the equation. I can add whatever I want as long as I add it to both sides. I can multiply by whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides, keeping that equation balanced. Now I'll deal with the y's. 4 divided by 2 squared. Well, that'd be 2 squared, which is 4. So I'm going to add 4 over here. <clears throat> All right. So now what we want to do is we want to do a little bit of factoring. Well, this one will factor down to x minus 5 squared because what multiplies to 25 and adds to negative 10? Well, negative 5 and negative 5. So x minus 5 times x minus 5, or written much nicer, x minus 5 squared plus it'll be y plus 2 squared, but multiplies to 4 and adds to 4. Well, that'd be 2 and 2. All right. And then all that equals, well, 20 plus 25 is 45, plus 4 is 49. All right. So I have what's called the standard form of that circle. Now, my center is 5, comma, negative 2, right? Make sure that you do switch those signs because it's x minus h, so it's the opposite sign of what you actually see. My radius is the square, well, r squared is 49, so I got to square root that and get 7 for my radius. So my circumference is 2 times pi times my radius of 7, which is equal to 14 pi. And I can just leave it like that. Um, I don't have my calculator with me right now. I know. I'm not strapped with the TI-84. Um, I'm just enjoying a little, little coffee and breakfast right now and figured... Pfft, what better way to start a day than a math video or two? Um, so we'll leave it as 14 pi, and then my area is equal to, well, pi r squared, so pi times 7 squared is equal to 49 pi, and I can leave that as well. When we leave it in, in terms of pi, in terms of pi, all we're saying is we're leaving pi in the answer, okay? It is an exact answer this way. We did not round. If we were to plug 14 times pi, use the pi button, second caret on your TI-84, well, then you would be getting a decimal. You'd be rounding. Thus, it is no longer exact, okay? So these are in terms of pi. It looks like we've got everything we wanted in this problem. We found our center. We found our, whoa, we found our radius, circumference, and area. And we've got our standard form. I'll put a check on that, too. Got it all. Awesome. Wonderful. America, freedom, rock and roll. Costco.